Hi, I'm Kurt, and I'm going to show you how to make a large-scale flower using the Template Studio. The Template Studio works with standard size poster board you can pick up at any grocery store. We Are Memory Keepers also has a new line of designer poster board that comes in a variety of colors and patterns, as well as foil, craft, and glitter. To get started, I'm going to pull out my instruction cards that come with my template guides. And inside, it has all of the different measurements and dimensions I'm going to need to reference, as well as a set of step-by-step -step instructions that I'll be going through with you in this video. Now your uh, flower kit comes with two different template guides. Flower number one is a shorter petal flower. Flower number two has a longer petal, uh, similar to a daisy. I'm going to be using flower number two. And on my instructions, over here on the side is all of the finished sizes of flowers, and it's the finished diameter. The one I'm going to be making today has an 11 inch diameter. And the paper size that I need for this is 20 inches by 5 inches. To do that, I'm going to take my A and B guides that come with my starter kit. I'm going to connect them together, and I'm aligning the arrow of, that gu of these guides into 20 inches. And taking my gray cutting blade, I'm just going to cut along my guide. Okay. All right, now I'm going to connect B and C together, just like I did with A and B. Connect them together, and then I'm aligning the arrows to five inches, snapping them into place. And now I'm going to cut along here. Now as I cut, I like to hold my template in place so that it doesn't wiggle around on me, so I get a nice, clean cut. Okay, and there is the size, the strip of paper I will need for my flower. Now I can pull out my instruction cards again, and I can look over here at the guide placement. The guide placement has all of these measurements, and these are all of the places I'm going to be aligning the arrow of my guide down here at the bottom of my mat. So starting at zero, I just snap it into place, and then I take my paper, and I'm aligning it at two and a half inches, as it says in the instructions. And to help you remember that, it's going to align up here in the center of our flower guide for the first cut. And I'm going to take my gray cutting blade, and I'm going to cut right here, just cutting off that piece of my paper. And I can move to my next one, which is two and a half. And I'm going to cut along both sides here closest to me, pull out that piece. And then I'm going to get my blue scoring blade, and I'm going to score along the both sides here, and move to my next measurement. And I'm going to repeat this process for each of the measurements in my guide. Cutting and scoring as I go along. Now if you've used our flower punch board, this is going to create a flower just like that. It's just on a much larger scale. And if you're using flower no guide number two, it works exactly the same. You're repeating the same process. It's just a larger petal flower. And it's the depth here of this cut that's going to be different. Cutting and scoring as I go along. And if you look at our packaging, we have several options of what the finished flowers look like. We've mixed different sizes of flowers and different colors of paper, and it creates a lot of variety there for you and a lot of different dimension and layering options. Okay, 17 and a half. and score. All right, and then last, 20 inches. And on this one, I'm only going to cut on the one half here. And then I need to make sure that I score here as well. OK, and there is my finished flower strip. Now I can start folding. Now as I fold, I'm going to fold this back in on itself. And then I'm going to fold 
the flower petal just like that, folding along the diagonal. And then I'm just going to repeat this all along, kind of in an accordion fold style. And you can see it just will nice, nicely start to round itself as I go around, just like this. And then as you can see, it's going to start making these nice triangular flower petal th centers. And that's how you can make sure you're folding it the right way. If you're folding it backwards, let me flip this over so I can show you, you're going to get these straight edges. That's how you know it's the back side. So the front side is going to have these nice triangular lines coming towards the center of your flower. Okay, and then to glue this together, so this is how it's going to look here. Now when you have all eight petals, each one of these, each one of these sizes in here will make an eight petal flower and it's a nice flat flower. If you want to make a more dimensional flower, you can cut different, you can cut some of the petals out and it'll start to make it into a more dimensional flower. And to cut it down, you're just going to cut along. the vertical piece of the vertical score line. You can cut one, two, three petals off. The more petals you cut off, the more dimensional it will be. And now I can glue it together. To glue it together, I like to use a permanent adhesive, such as this red tape. I have some pre-cut strips here. I'm just going to place it here on this triangular piece. And then you can align it like this. And that's how you line it up together. What I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to take a piece of tape and put it along on each one of these triangular pieces so I get a nice permanent finished flower so it doesn't fold up on myself when I'm all finished. So here we go, just putting a piece of tape each one of these little areas and then as I'm going along I can fold it in on itself so I can show you what it looks like when it's done. There we go. Take another piece, putting it on the little triangle piece there, folding it back. Another one here. Folding it back and then one here. All right, and then like I said before, the last one's going to line up just like that, and there is my flower shape. The next thing we have in our instructions is to round the petals. I like to do that by using a marker or a pen, and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to round it towards the outside. I like to round it this way because it creates a nice organic shape, kind of follows the natural curvature of a flower petal. Okay. All right, and there is our flower. It has a nice rounded edge to it. The next thing in our instructions is to cut a strip of paper to make a fringe center. I'm going to do that by taking my A and B guides again. Now you could use a different color piece of poster board. I'm using the exact same piece of poster board for the sake of time but I like to cut a three inch strip. It doesn't really matter where you line up your template guides. I'm just placing it right here. But I'm gonna cut a three inch piece of poster board in a long strip, just like that. Okay. And then using some scissors, I'm just gonna come along and I'm gonna cut just along here for some fringe. You just wanna make sure that you're not cutting all the way through this. You're just cutting down, fringing this as you go along. It really doesn't matter how far apart or how close together it is. It's just going to create a nice fringy center to your flower. And the longer the strip is, the bigger the little puffball in the middle is going to be. Just like this. And then you can take your 
pen, your marker, whatever you're using, and just kind of curve it around a little bit as you could do this, just so that it has some dimension when it's finished. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna take my marker one more time. I'm gonna place it here in the center and now I'm gonna roll it back on itself. Just rolling this around. It doesn't have to be super tight. Just roll this around and then when we get to the end, we're gonna take one more piece of tape, place it in there just to secure it all together. And here we have our fringed center to our flower. Mess it up a little bit just to keep it, give some dimension there. And then we can come in and we can place it there in the center. And there we have our finished flower. Now, like I said on the packaging, we've got multiple options of what it looks like if you layer other sizes of flowers behind it or other colors. The possibilities are endless. This is just one of the many projects you can make using the Template Studio. Be sure to check out our other template guides and our other instructional videos.